this season you're a big fan favorite. What's it like been having that support and love from the fans on the show? It's a very special feeling. I hold it very dear to my heart. Along with it comes a lot of responsibility that I've wished for. And now that I have it, I really, really appreciate it. And I hold my fans really close to my heart. My fans love and adore me, and they protect me. And they're there to be Team Valentina. And if they're watching, I love you guys. And how has life changed since being on Drag Race for you? Completely. It's, it's changed in the sense where um, everything that I do, it's, it's kind of more public. Um, I used to be more so a homebody that kind of just loved to take a nap and bubble baths. But now my life's a lot busier and constantly traveling, but I've dreamt for this for so long and I'm so happy to be living this life. Definitely. And what kind of advice would you give to queens who are coming into season 10 who are new to this kind of experience? Um, just to be ready to know that what they want is a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work and just to be mentally prepared and to always be humble, always be professional. Those are my advice. And I thought your snatch game was really funny. Uh -huh. what, can you tell us a little bit about behind, like, the inspiration for that and how you were able to pull that out? Because I, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, when, when, when it came to picking a character for Snatch Game, I was like, I want to pick somebody that's, that's on brand for me, that's Latino, but it's also relevant. It's something that an American and an international audience could understand. I also wanted to choose somebody that you didn't really necessarily know 100% about, so I had the, the liberty to create more of a backstory to them through my own idea of who they are. So Ariana Gutierrez, Miss Colombia, um, was crowned Miss Universe for just a little bit. So I felt like there was plenty to work with for a good Snatch Game. Definitely. And can I get your reaction? It was a kind of sad episode two episodes ago. Eureka had to exit. Um, can I get your reaction to that? What was kind of going through your head when, when that was announced? It was really shocking. Well, it, it, it all happened unexpectedly and very fast and it was after Untucked so we got this really sad news and we all started sobbing crying even when she left the stage backstage we were literally sitting there crying like I couldn't stop because it was just so sad and devastating to know that someone had such a dream and came so prepared and due to an accident they got eliminated but luckily Eureka's gonna be on season 10 so you, you season 10 girls better watch out yeah, I can't wait to see her. Um, so is this your first drag con? And if, how's the experience been here? It's been kind of crazy out there. Oh, I love it. This is actually my third drag con. It's my first drag con as a Rue girl, but I've been coming to drag con since the very first one. 